Happy Saturday. Welcome back to Apex Alchemy. Um, it's our 100th video. What's up with that? Yes. Uh, I think we probably, I deleted a few videos that weren't uh, so great or whatever. Not enough of them. We still yeah. got a bunch of not, not great so videos. Great ones. <laughs> uh, still posted. Uh, today, oh, we're going to we're gonna be shooting some videos today. I'll try to schedule those where they pop up randomly throughout the week or whatever. But, you know, it's uh, this topic right here is is more of a curiosity. You know, like I don't I don't want to present this as I'm an expert in the matter because I'm not. You know, I like a, a I'm a basic consumer. So trying to understand exactly what's going on with with factory edges. You know, and, there's a lot and of why stuff. Some of them performs better than others even on on less desirable steels. Especially on less desirable steels. Right. Uh, this, this may be very controversial to some folks. I don't know, but I'm, I'm just coming at at this from the angle as uh, I'm a consumer. Uh, I'm looking for a knife that I don't have to sharpen that often. So I may pick up something like, you know, something like what you got me for Christmas. Mm -hmm. that this is an S90V. Extremely disappointed in <clears throat> Spiderco. And the story goes like this when you start asking people who know how to sharpen Spidercos and understand the flaws that, that, that come from the factory. Now, you know, uh, this isn't a cheap knife. It's not a, it's not a very, it's not a really expensive knife, but it's, it's a, it's, it's a knife that I expect more out of. Yeah. This, this, this blade lasted for about a week and a half. Bef you know, the, the factory edge right. before it won't cut anything else. It's gonna, we're gonna send this down to Key West, Florida, and 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 she and uh, ADC and lace, by the way. Yeah, ADC and lace. She's gonna she's gonna sharpen it up. She said, uh, uh, like she told me the same thing Nick Edward did. You know that uh, spider coals have crappy factory edges, and that you know you really don't get the best out of an edge with spider co until you get about two or three sharpenings in. Because you got to get all the burnt stuff off the. Which I feel like, for a company uh, as prominent in the community as Spiderco, is pretty shit. Because your your people buying them, your average people. Your average buy, people. They are not knowing how to sharpen these things, especially from the get go. And maybe they're not trying to target you know uh, the us as an audience really. But you that's know. what they're. But the, their that's. Sales I would. I would. From. I would. I would assume that ninety percent of their sales are from people who are like, man, you know, I'm. I'm. You know, I, I've got a, I've got an itch to get a good knife. I hate sharpening in this cheap knife all the time. Where you know, I'm, I'm ready to step up my game. I'm ready to move to the next level. And when you move to the next and, level, you don't expect to have to sharpen it faster than you do a little cheap one. Yeah. Okay. Um, speaking of little cheap ones, I don't know who did the video. I will try to link the video. There's one video on the Buck 203 on the internet, on, on YouTube, that, that, I can, that I could find. Uh, I will... I, it's very important that I link that video to this video because that guy, he pulled this out of one of those Christmas boxes and, you know, it's, it's one of those $20 Christmas boxes that come out a few years ago. I want to say this was a 2018, 2019. Sorry, it's that time again. We know better than to try to... Record a video before the mailman Before comes. the mailman comes. It's, 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 not, it's not wise. But there's, there's, it's, it's, in, in this instance, it's important for me to, to, to put the video and, uh, link it to, to this video some, some kind of way. I'll put it in the comments or something, but there's a guy, he pulls one of these things out of a Christmas box. He does some cut tests with it. It's 420 HC. It's not 420 HC heat treated by Paul Boss, unless Paul Boss happened to be working at Buck at the time. He did. He was the like the main heat treat guy. He was over the heat treat for Buck. Uh, I don't know what year the transition took, but he uh, what you know he retired, and then Paul, you know like Paul Boss does, he still does some heat treating for Buck every once in a while. Like this knife right here, S forty five VN. It's Boss heat treated. Um, it's got his little logo up there. 
most of you probably know what what that means. Um, uh, this knife I've I've carried for five months. I've sharpened it once, and it was a touch up, and mm -hmm. it's still sharp. Um, it, it, and people people don't like buck. For whatever reason, I I, I, I don't I don't know. I, you I don't know, know I mean, I'm I'm not really concerned about why's you know, yeah, but was, but yeah, it's just like kind of, kind of a curiosity of mine. Like, what happened to make them the redheaded stepchild? I don't know, but <laughs> this is a this is a hundred seventy eight dollar USA made buck. This is a, a you get two knives in the pack. You get the 202 and you get the 203, and you can't get them anymore. And if you do find them, they they're 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 kind of they're kind of pricey, uh, which which kind of sucks. Uh, I carried this knife for a while, and I don't know that I've ever sharpened it. And it's it, it might it might not cut paper now. Well, let's see here. Here's a, it's not shaving, is it? It's scraping hair off. I would say you know like it. But it's there's hair on the blade, you know. I can't do that with the PM2 right now. There's hair on the blade. There's a regular piece of paper. No, it needs it needs a good sharpening, you know. Like it, I didn't I didn't I didn't prep this one. I ain't carried it in a while. But it's. Uh, you take me from a word I don't know if you want to you don't have to that's fine but that that knife lasted forever I've, you know like it, it it lasted forever and there's a small one that come with it too right? yeah the, and, there's a small one that come with it um it's a uh, like it's it's I think it's the 202 uh but regardless man little cheap ass knife a little cheap ass Chinese buck that uh, it, it, I don't know, man. You know, good enough. Performs well. Cuts cuts well. Uh, or, or it did. I, I, it's 420 HC, so it probably wouldn't be hard to touch it up. You know, I, I, I'll probably try to do that after this video. Uh, probably just try to strop it back in. Uh, but uh, another another knife that you know, like say, didn't do t t you know so well. Which I did pick this up used, but. Uh, this is the 0562 in S35VN from ZT. Again, not a not a not an expensive knife. You know, I I I would consider this a budget knife myself. Uh, kind of like the PM2 is a uh, it's, it's you know uh, the the better quality production knives. Uh, <clears throat> when it come in the mail, it it man it 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 wouldn't cut through warm butter like literally. Uh, the, I did find it. you found, you found the video. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will, we'll, we'll link that video to this dude when he pulled it out of the, he, he pulled it out of the box and he, he did some testing and he was like, Oh my God, it's outperforming my S30 V knives. And he was, you know, it was like, he got like 600 and some odd cuts on some, yeah, yeah it, or I, I can't remember the details. Don't quote me. Just watch the video. Check, check, check this video out. Uh, it doesn't mean you got to subscribe or any, anything like that, but he was like, I, Throughout the video, he was like, "I don't know if Buck made a mistake, you know, and, and or somebody, whoever the OEM was, made a mistake and used a different kind of steel. That that steel types, yeah. That I don't know why I even shop for steel types anymore. I won't anymore. Nah. Personally, nah, this knife right here uses the shit out of this knife. It's mm -hmm. Code Steel Crawford Model One." Uh, the knife, I'm not gonna pretend like the knife did all the cutting to to make the make it scales. Right, but, but it I, did cut through wood. It, it cut and, through wood. It got it, down close. Yeah, yeah. We 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 used this knife to to get it close before we broke out the 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 Dremel, mm -hmm. and then then we you know we fine tuned we it, fine tuned it, and shaped it and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, this knife is thirty eight dollars, and let me see some paper. It, it has not been sharpened. It still has the factory edge on it. I haven't touched it up. I haven't done anything to this knife. And I, I, I'll, I'll cut the video off and, and delete it if it won't cut paper. Boy, can you find me some good paper? <laughs> it's got a snag spot. But it's been used 
<laughs> yeah, it's it uh Here's that paper. There we go. That's magazine paper, man. And it's cutting smoother. But it's I it's kind of jaggedy on this on the side, so I I would assume. So Spyderco's got some uh Got some things where you know you you, you can't trust the, the factory edge too much, uh, and and you got to take off uh, enough material in order to be able to get it to the point where it's going to hold an edge. Even the S ninety V. Yeah. Say if you're you're at that level where you're like, man, I'll, all right, all right, I'm gonna get serious about getting a knife, and then you start uh, looking around, looking around at heat treats and, and uh, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, steel, uh, steel types. types, and you're like, oh, okay, like you know, like and you start looking at charts and you see this S ninety B and it's got a nine out of ten, the new biggest bad and and super steels that gets all the hype, and then you go get it and it ends up being a piece of crap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the the maximants, the the like it doesn't matter what type of steel it is. By the way, this is in four one one six, which I believe is the Japanese version of the German steel one point four one one six, which is a glorified, very similar in composition to eight CR thirteen MOV or all eight. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's it's, it's they're all about it's, the it's same. all in that same family. This is <coughs> it's not a super steel, but it was. I, I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what the difference is. Before this left Taiwan. Well, I'm. I'm. I'm not going to tell you what the difference is. I'm going to tell you my thoughts. Yeah. Before this was put in a package, enough material was removed off of it for it to have a factory edge that would last the customer a, a long time. Mm hmm. Watch Jimmy Slash's video on him taking this knife and chopping wood, patoning wood for 10 beating minutes, it man, beating it with it. a hammer <laughs> down through it. He, like, he was, he, you know, he, he was, he was putting that knife through living hell. He got done with it. Still, Still cut. cutting paper. That, it, like, I, I, I get it, man. You know, I do. Like, I, 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 I enjoy the the pride of ownership of having something that's you know it's like s ninety v and or or, or s one twenty five or maximant you know, whatever the new craze is magna cut nowadays i guess i and i don't have any experience with magna cut i do want to change that i don't get grab something up and some magna cut but i like now i'm trying to you know like after my experience with this knife i've got one more month before i retire this knife <laughs> this this knife right here me and my wife have a two hundred dollar bet if I lose it before March the 17th, then I owe her $200. If I, if I don't lose it, she's, she's got to buy me a knife. So I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to attempt to keep up with it for one more month. And, and no more cheating, leaving it laying on the table here when you leave. Man, those, <laughs> those was accidents. Those was accidents. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to keep up with it for one more month. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna retire this knife and put it back in the box. Tired of I I, I am tired of carrying it around. <laughs> it's not my it's not my, my my preferred size knife. It's not my preferred uh, style knife. But it's big but big. but let me let me tell you one thing I will say about this knife is that it keeps an edge like nothing else that. And what steel type is that one? S45 VN. Okay. But it was heat treated by somebody who knows how to heat treat. Right. Uh, another knife that did really well, uh, and and I'm gonna I'm gonna sound like a cold steel buck shill, but this knife right here. Give did credit it, where credit's due. I will if give heat, yes. Heat treating their stuff uh, properly, then that's right. They, they're owed that, that I, credit. I, I used this knife for about two and a half weeks at work, cutting cardboard, cutting through lots of, of of plastics. Uh, mostly it's a shrink wrap, you know, like, but like some of the, some of the wrap is, is thick, thick layers. Yeah. Sometimes it's thick layers that you have to cut through and stuff. It and and, <laughs> and in, in general, you know, uh, I would say like a, uh, you know, like my nine forties, I would get, how it was, uh, I, uh, the experience that I had with the, the Benchmade nine forties, uh, with that shrink wrap, mm -hmm. just cutting that shrink wrap and not a lot of cardboard. 
if I kept just cutting my shrink wrap off the pallets for uh, six weeks, uh, I mean, yeah, 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 then the knife would last about six weeks before it, before the blade needed to be touched up. So I really got no problem with whatever Benchmade's doing with their steels. Now, I never had, um, I don't know, um, I have had uh, some some Benchmade steels that were better, but I didn't carry them as often right. as the SRDV. So I like, I've owned some Benchmades and some and some better steels, but I. I they don't they don't get as much hard use because they were they were like not something I'd want to take to work with me, but um, that's just me. But but the cold steel eighty fifteen it's an S thirty five VN. It's a steel that most people hate mm -hmm. uh, because it's it's difficult to sharpen. Like this one right here, you know I sent this off to to Nick and he did the best he possibly could with it. And I'm not taking anything away from his sharpening skills. I, I, I've seen some of his edges, and he does a mm -hmm. good job. But but the, you know, like he told me, he's like, "I man, I've got it as good as I can get it," and it took me three hours to get it there. And I'm gonna send it to Key West as well, and we'll see, um, you know, uh, you know, exactly, you know, what what happens when she gets it back. She said she's had a little bit of experience with 0562s and S35 VN, um, you know. So like, uh, sometimes experience goes a long way. I'm I'm man enough and, to and to not, step back. Like uh, also. It hasn't been used much since we got it back. No. Then. So, like, really, if she gets it any sharper, it's she's starting where he, he ended. Like, his three hours worth of work has barely been touched. So, like, another person yeah. honing in on it after it's had this much work done to it, just trying to get it to where it's at. Man. Yeah, it's it's still not sharp. Right. You know, like, I'm uh, not going to lie about that. You know, like, I'm, you know, he, he, he did what he could. He charged me a dime. He, you know, like he, you know, he, uh, he, he was like, ah, man, um, I've got it. I've, he said I probably got it pretty close to what what it was from the factory. I, I could, I could believe that was a, a, yeah. a hinder design. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, man, uh, this knife is very disappointing. You know, as far as edge retention goes. Like, and like I said, I bought this knife used. You know, like uh, it's not the only 0562 I've had experience with, but it's the only 0562 and and S35VN that I've had experience with. But have had better experience with this model and other. Now my S35VN on the the tie bag, I know I don't carry mine a whole lot. You use that top, knife but I though. I have used it. Yeah. And it is still like cutting through crap. Easily. Yeah, it's it's properly it, heat treated. Yeah, or whatever, and it might it might not have as much to do with heat treated as I'm thinking. I, or or all I know more of a just how much material they're taking off if they're spending time getting it to that yeah. good apex. Are, are they selling you a burnt edge that, that they're they're wanting the customer to 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 finish the process of of honing of, it in of, <laughs> of sharpening it for them uh, so they can reduce the price to you for you know uh, or, or whatever they can save you a little bit of money and you can take care of the sharpening because they they, they don't have the time or they can't be bothered and I love Spider Co. You know, like I don't don't get me wrong now. I I, I love spider co knives, uh, so like you know, it's, I'm not I'm not here to beat up on them. All I'm saying is like something something ain't right. You know, uh, it's it's especially to be S90 that everybody praises so much. This is my S35 VN. Oop. It may need to be touched up. You you was cutting through tape yesterday. Yeah. Well, I was trying to cut through that box. And I don't know if I'm holding it at the right angle to cut this paper. Let me see. I'm over here at a weird spot. Not that I'm any better at this than you are. It does need to be touched yeah. up. It does need to be touched up. Okay. Uh, that, but, but man, the edge lasted a while. Yeah. The edge lasted a long time. She's used this. Like, I, I probably wouldn't have. And it was used when we got it, right? No. Oh, okay. That one was one of the new ones. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but but it was um, I, I don't know. Uh, but like uh, she's she's using a knife. You can see the stuff on it. You know, it didn't get cleaned <laughs> up and all that stuff. And and it's lasted a while. You know, and it like, but yeah, it's it's not. And it got cleaned up a little bit ago, and it's got the, all that back on it again. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it does get used. Um, uh, shield shield time. Um. Go to Finwolf. In all state. Yeah. Like not 
not a version of Allsight, not a better version or uh, or, a, or a different, a different version of, of Allsight. This this knife has uh, been used a bit. Um, it, it outperformed this one uh, probably ten to one. I'm like I, I'm I'm really sickened by. <laughs> As, that, that was like 50 code. right? It was about 45 or $50. Yeah, around 45 I think. Yeah, and this one was like 38 And I mean, you know, and, and this one's like uh, closer to the $200 mark. It depends on where you buy it. I've seen mm -hmm. them for sale uh, with, they've got different finishes, different colors and stuff like that. And I want to say like, you know, like if you get the black blade or, or all blacked out, if you get it all blacked out on certain websites, it's like 156 Uh But if you like, if you get the black like stuff with the 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 satin finish, uh, you know, you know, you're moving up, which is kind of crazy because usually, usually blacked out blades. Yeah. But I don't know, man. Like, um, yeah, all that stuff's behind me. Like, I, I the price really, it it shouldn't have anything to do with the you know like this video. You know, all all I'm really concerned about is wire is, cheap cheap steels outperforming some of these higher higher end. Yeah. Bigger named, and like, uh, like Alan's uh, skyline, you know, like uh, you know, uh, we haven't we haven't cut anything with it. But if let, let's say it had the same heat treat or the the same edge uh, attention before it left the factory, as um, as the the Kershaw link, we'll 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 put the Kershaw link up here. I'm I'm sorry, the Kershaw link's gone. It needs to be touched up too, don't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this, this knife belongs to Alan P, and it's his son's knife. I'm going to let it stand in for the Kershaw Link because it has the same steel material, but it's not the same blade style. That knife, you know, it, it gets used. It got used by, by Alan. It also gets used by his son. So, it you know, it needs to be touched up. That's that's no problem. You know, that's, that's no problem. But let's pretend for a second that that uh, that, that that's, that's not a Skyline. That's a Link in 20 CV. This knife right here, did a video of that knife right there destroying the Kershaw link mm -hmm. in cardboard cutting. Almost two with, to one. Almost two to one. with and, and that's a Chinese Emerson CQC 11 uh, ND2. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so like, I feel like whoever's heat treating their D2 or preparing the steel before it leaves the shop. It might not be a heat treat thing. It may be, it may be like the attention to detail as to like sharpening thing. Yeah, it may, it may be a sharpening thing. But whoever's whoever's taking care of those knives before they end up in the boxes, that factory edge outperformed the the link by by, by yeah by almost two, almost two to one. You know, mm -hmm. like it was it was at least a good ninety percent more. Yeah, something like that, man. And. Uh, uh, and it, like it, it may seriously be. Everybody talks about fit and finish on, on the handles and and, and all that that other material that you're you're feeling of. But fit and finish is gonna go in on these blades too. And that may be where they're lacking. Yeah. Some of them. I mean, honestly, it's like a lot of other other stuff. And I hate to say it this way, but in America. If you get a name, and you can go off your name, nine times out of ten, quality goes down. And they sell by the name, and everybody keeps buying it because that's what they're used to. And I, I honestly feel that's where Spider Co's at because they don't have to try to impress anybody anymore. They, they've got their name out there, and they're putting out crap. There's Plus. definitely an element to think about when it comes to that, you know, is is like, uh, yeah, and and we got a lot of things to consider. We we heard uh, not your average EDC. We watched some of her videos, and she was talking about, well, you know, like they can't do any better because they can't find people to work. Get it? I get it. I understand. But like, you know, there's was this a there's, problem before everybody. I don't know. Work ethic went down before I, COVID. It'd be something. Like I don't that. remember this being that big of an issue before COVID. But I, what what I'll say is this, you know, like say Ernie Emerson. He pulled away. He pulled all of his knives off of everybody's. Like, like, like. He, he took his knives off of Blade HQ and DLT and 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 stuff like that because he knew that he wouldn't be able to produce knives of the same caliber with the same quality 
throughout the pandemic with less of a workforce. He lives in, you know, he produces knives in California, you know, and, and they shut a lot of mm-hmm. stuff down. So like, uh, he, he didn't just, he didn't just keep pumping out stuff in order to be able to, to fulfill orders. Uh, fulfill in orders. So, so like, uh, and I respect that, you know, I don't know how his edges do. Right. Yeah, you know, I've got my first Emerson. We did a video on it last night, uh, where I announced that we'll be giving this away at 500 subscribers. So if you're still here, uh, you know, that's, uh, that'll be a 500 subscriber giveaway. I will allow whoever wins to make the decision as to whether they want this knife or they would just want me to buy them a new one. Cause I, I like this knife good enough to keep it. If, if they want a new one, then it won't be used. It'll just be, you know, just have a brand new, uh, uh, CQC 11 D, and D2, but that'll be at the 500 subscriber mark. But, uh, anyway, neither here nor there, but like, I, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't get it anymore. You know, I, like it's it's uh it's it's sad. You know, like uh when we buy something for a couple hundred bucks and we feel like we've just completely wasted our money, um uh, and and this is just coming you have to from start a, spitting out more money if you can't sharpen your own stuff. Like you're you're having to send it off quickly to to fork out more money to have that I, knife useful. I don't have to send it off. No, I'm just saying like I it's, can I can make a knife sharp, but I'm at that point where. I want it to be pretty as well, and I'm not at the point in my sharpening where I, I can get them pretty, so I don't deserve pretty knives, you would say, but there's some stuff I don't want to mess up, yeah. so I'm going to send it to people who are more experienced because I... Your average Joe's, though. Yeah, 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 that, yeah you're right. That money, and, and either they've got to quickly learn how to sharpen a knife themselves or send it off and spend more money on a higher price knife to get it back to where it's useful again. Right. Uh, the edge retention kings, man, you know, that I've, that I've had the most experience with are right there in front of you. Like it's, yeah, <laughs> uh, that one too, but I didn't carry it as long, right. you know, but the, I've got a, you know, I, I'm going to give credit where credit's due when it comes to factory edges and how, how well they perform. And I'll even, I'll, I'll throw a bone to, to Benchmade and we'll pretend like this is 2019 and this is the, the first uh, 940-2 yeah. that I've purchased. And, and and I'll say that this one this one did well as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, 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 it outperformed this one 100 to 1. Uh, you know, like, and, and you can hate me. I, I don't care, you know, and, and you can be like, you know, it's, it's your job to sharpen your knives. That's fine. You know, like, I mean, you know, I, I understand how everybody feels about all this stuff. Like until I get my honing in on, on being able to, what, what I want, the, the where I want to get <clears throat> is I want to get stones. I want to get a really good set of stones and hand mm-hmm. sharpen. I got to gravitate away from the clamp systems because the clamp systems will not give you a symmetrical grind. You know, like no, like, and I, I like symmetrical grinds. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, on the Emerson that we picked up last night with the chisel grind, we'll leave it alone. You know, like, but what, what I mean is like, I, I don't, I don't like having twenty two degrees on one side and sixteen on the other. Right. You know, like it, it looks like junk, and I've, and I've. And it's hard it, to sharpen it back. Uh, with the. Yeah, I can get a knife sharp. Right. But, but I can't get them pretty. Right. And, and well, I was just to say, I mean, it's, it, it puts a, a, a different annoyance to trying to trying to sharpen them whenever you've got two different angles like that you got to constantly if you're using the clamp systems you yeah gotta constantly adjust when you go from one side to the other and try to remember where it, where it's at yeah and it's it's a lot of it's bullshit a pain in the butt and and, and I, yeah so like I, I feel like clamping systems could work wonders if you happen to understand if you have a clear understanding of how steel works against the stone and when you learn how to do things by hand that process is going to go a lot smoother and a lot, a lot, a lot, uh, um, it'll be slower, you know? Yeah. But you'll, but, but with each stroke of the steel across the stone, you'll learn something, you know, especially if you like make one pass and, and study, you know, put it up underneath the microscope, see what, what happened with it. Make another pass, put it up underneath the micro, microscope, I mean, like mm-hmm. check out that, that burr yeah, at every stage, uh, where if, if, uh, if you're following directions on a clamp system and, Give it 10 passes on one side, give it 10 passes on the other, and you're good to go. You know, five minutes, five minutes sharpening. And that's it's not realistic. No, man. You know, that's uh, like a, and, and, uh, you know, with clamping systems, you know, I'm, I'm, if, if you happen to be watching the, the video this far, 
then uh, you may you may want to chime in and say, well, you know, like you're probably applying pressure on one side and not the other. Now, it's not the case on, on this clamping system that I have right now. Uh, but uh, I, I, that was something I took into consideration, but I quit applying any, like like no pressure whatsoever. You know, just holding the, the, the little, I, I mean, you know, this is, but like I don't, I don't hold it from the top. And I don't use that thing. I like I, I let it rest on the blade, and I and I move it back and forth, you know, like like so. Uh, so I'm not I'm not applying any pressure. It's just the weight of whatever this is is mm -hmm. all the pressure it's getting. I'm just moving the I'm I'm just moving the piece. Uh, you won't move a, a straw back right. and forth. But the um, I, you know, so like that's that's not my problem anymore. My problem is is whenever you know I I, I flip the knife. I'm not getting the same angle. It's as simple as that. You yeah. know, like the the same, yeah, like it, it, it should be, but it's, not. but it's not, you know, like, so I, and, and I'm, I'm sure I don't know everything there is to know about the clamping systems, but from where I stand, I, you know, I feel like it's time to invest some money in some stones and, and, uh, and, and start working with hand and then get a clear understanding of what's going on with that knife. Not just, you know, this S35V did this, so the you know like the we can expect S35V. the same thing out of this knife no. because it's S35V as well, and uh, and then when we go touch up the mini glimpse, oh uh, well you know we've already got experience with S35V and uh, with with these two knives, so like you know we don't need to do any uh, calculations or anything because they're all the same steel types. Um, all different blade shapes, all all gonna be different on stone. All likely very different uh, heat treating methods and uh, blade geometries, and you know, like uh, there's there's a lot of stuff that needs to you know to to be studied up on. Mm -hmm. And no, we are not. We you know, like make it clear again, we're not experts on the matter. No. All I know is from a consumer standpoint. Uh, the the I'm disgusted I'm, that from a consumer standpoint. I'm, some of them. I'm disgusted at the hundred and fifty to two hundred dollar range from the big the big knives. Yeah. You know, like the uh <coughs> I I I'll tell you what I will do. I don't want to do it, but I I will carry this knife, this this 940 for uh for 6 weeks and see if it manages to be able to to perform my job duties of the past. Mm -hmm. But uh if if I if I see the same problems with with this knife as I'm as I'm seeing with ZT uh performance steels and um, spider co performance steels, then I'll say that we have a, a laziness issue with the big three. Yeah. And, um, and, 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 and like the, the sad truth of the matter is most of the, the companies, it, if people continue to buy the stuff at poor quality, the, it's they, not gonna not, improve. They, they don't, they don't feel a reason to change anything. Uh, like a, a a quick <laughs> that, that's that's so true too. Like people people have faith, especially young people. Young people have faith that businesses will, will do the right thing. Yeah, if if you stick by them and you support them, and and you uh you keep on giving them your money, and you and you see them through the hard times, that eventually they'll catch back up and they'll be able to do right by us. Oh, wait, wait, that is never. All right, all right. In any any industry, let's take really. Walmart for an example. Mm -hmm. I'm I'll like. All right, so so Walmart come out with self checkouts. Mm -hmm. People were complaining about it, but they were using them. But they still had the option of using the the cashier. But they chose to go to the self checkout uh, and and complain about it at the same time mm -hmm. because it was quicker to get out of the store. Now, when you walk in several WalMarts, you'll see no checkouts, and and now they're implicating even more regulations on the. Oh, it's, they're going to make that even more complicated. Now, a second example for Walmart is when the pandemic hit. Most Walmarts nationwide went from 24 hours a day to closing at to nine, closing at nine, ten o'clock at night. Eventually moved up to eleven, but they're okay. never going to be 24 hours. A They'll day. never be 24 because hours a day again because they have able to get there. they have been able to cut a third mm -hmm. of their workforce out and be able to, and 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 they've gotten the the economy used to and, and still got the same amount of sales. So yeah, their sales why, haven't went down at all. Why go back and do do the anything the way they were doing it? And 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 they, they they want to shame people for 
scanning stuff wrong and stuff like that, which I mean, you know, like, I'm not saying you should shoplift. What I'm saying though is like, we don't work for Walmart. Right. You know, like, so it's not our job to know to, all the produce codes and... or if you make a mistake or if you scan something three or four times and you need it and, and there's nobody there to, to mm -hmm. and I'm not, I'm not condoning. I'm, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm not condoning shoplifting. I'm, that's not no. at all, but they're, they're throwing a fit. All they have to do is shut them some bitches down. You know, and then they can, you know, but you know they the, can, they they're, can, they're getting the same amount of sales with less service and, and it's never going to go back to the way it was. And it's going to be the same thing with any other industry, whether it's knives or cars guns. or clothes or whatever it is. It, if they can get away with the same amount of sales and still show a profit. Off of poor quality crap that people keep buying. They're that's not what gonna they're going to keep producing. They're not. Yeah, the quality will never. They, they, and if if you don't believe that, look at Ford, Chevy, and Dodge throughout the years. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, that's that's the big three in the automobile industry. Uh, you know, we, they uh, they used to make. When I say used to make, I'm, I'm talking about in the in the in the forties and the fifties, thirties. Even you know, like when when those companies started up and they they were making. Oh my God value mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell a story i'm gonna tell a story my wife's granddad back in 1971 mm -hmm. was making two dollars an hour he had just graduated high school he had a good job at a place called georgia gulf gulf and georgia gulf was in it was a plastic place in tennessee they, they produced plastics two dollars an hour was pretty good in 1971 that was a pretty good paying job it wasn't uh, you know, it doesn't sound like it would be, but it, it, it was, it was, um, okay. This is how the story went. So he's a single man, got no kids, went to the Chevrolet dealership, was having a really difficult time deciding whether he wanted a, uh, Chevy SS, uh, Chevelle with a 454 or did he want a brand new Chevy truck? The salesman looked at him and said, son, you make $2 an hour. Won't you just get them both? And that's what he did. And that's exactly what he did. He walked off. He, 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 he drove one car off the lot. And he had his mom bring him back up there to get the truck. 18 years old. You know, like, and, and. So, so what I'm what I'm saying, you don't have to they go back. They made really good vehicles yeah, back the, then. Yeah, a seventy one and a a, a a seventy one Chevy Chevelle SS with a four fifty four, and a, and a it, it, like the, the total cost for them was like eight thousand mm -hmm. dollars. The truck cost about two, and, and, the, that, and the car uh, cost about six. And I'm sure that that wasn't uh, cheap. No, the time, no, no, but no, 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 no. The point was, with one income. A decent income, you could get good quality vehicle, and, and not have to worry about getting getting shit on, spending all your money on it. Um, then at the end of the you know at the end of the seventies, you know, like uh, the only reason I bring that story up is because at the end of the seventies, Carter come in, and you know I'm not shitting on Carter. Uh, I don't, I wasn't alive then. I don't know what the hell he did and what he, what he did. Now I, I do you know I know what what I know from the history books. Fuel uh -huh. crisis. Uh, uh, it, it, it started forcing, uh, car industries to, to start focusing on four cylinders and smaller cars. And they were trying to figure out how to keep the same revenue coming in, uh, by selling, uh, uh, uh more affordable cars or cheaper cars. I, you know, let's, let's call it, let's call it what it is. They yeah. were cheaper cars. Uh, and, and I don't like using that word most of the time. I use affordable and inexpensive, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Uh, but the, the, uh, the cheaper cars we put up with. Because and we never that, returned to our former glory. Right. Not 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 even today, y'all. You know, we, most we, cars today, you're not going to see still on the road forty years from now. Squeeze that, <laughs> Cor Courtney, Courtney, Courtney. Your boss went and and I'm going to let you tell the story because that was your boss. But yeah. her, listen, her boss went to to test drive a when brand they, new SS Camaro when they first come back out. And her boss made. Good money, yeah. man. She could afford to pay it off right then and there. She didn't have to like there wasn't any there wasn't any reason for her to finance anything. She 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 knew what she wanted when she pulled on the lot. Mm -hmm. Tell and them she what went happened. to test drive it, opened the car door, and it fell off. 
the car door fell off of a $60,000 SS Camaro. And they were like, sorry that you're like, you know, we can fix this real quick. She was like, no, don't I, worry I just about don't it. I don't even want it now. She like, just went down the street and bought a brand new Forerunner. Yep. Like, it, 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 once again, that was a, we don't fine tune check everything anymore because everybody you're knows it anyway. they want a Camaro, so they're going to go get a Camaro. Yeah. Or they're going to go get the, the Shelby or they're going to, whatever it may be. If they, they can squeeze past without doing those quality checks anymore because people are going to buy the shit anyway. You're going to buy the shit anyway. Then that's what you're going to get. That's what you're going to, yeah, yeah. If, 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 if you're, if you're sold on a brand, you know, and I'm, I don't, I don't get, uh, you know, like you can look at my subscriber count if, if you're watching this uh, in 2023 and you'll see if you're watching this in January, January of 2023. You'll see that I'm not big enough. I don't get paid by any of these people, man. Right. Uh, nobody's. Uh, we don't have none, any affiliate links. Nobody's all. giving me any of these knives. They were all bought out of our paychecks. Except for Skyline. Which... Well, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's Alan's knife, and it's, it'll be returned. Right. But that even that knife did not come from Kershaw. No. It, it's it's a uh, it's a knife that, that that was bought by somebody. That was bought by him. So like we we uh we pay for all this shit. So we we you know as consumers we, we have, have opinions. A right to say. Say what we think about where our money was spent. Yeah, and this video is forty-one minutes, y'all. Yeah. All right, like I, I, if if you have any information, uh, uh drop it below. You know, oh, uh, you know, you, you, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions about why it's okay. You know, for for uh, Spiderco and ZT to to release knives. Uh, and, and they're super, not ready to be knives, honestly. They're not ready to be <laughs> knives, man. Not really. Not if, if, uh, or does Code Steel just have like uh, blade geometries that work for for super edge retention? You know, is, is Who that? Knows? But there, I mean, if, if people at Code Steel know what what's going on, even if it is the the symmetry or whatever, then these other big names shouldn't should have that that same science knowledge by now. Yeah, I. I Honestly, I don't think you get better blade geometry than On a spider co. You know, like I mean, it's just uh, that's about as that's about as good as geometry gets. It's as mm. flat as possible. Right. It should be super slicey. Uh, edge retention should be great. Uh, you should be, you know, and and I'm, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna let I'm gonna let ADC and Lace. I'm gonna let her know. I, I like put me down to a 15 degree angle. You know, 15 maybe maybe 16. You know, this uh. This this uh this edge can handle it, or, or this this blade style can handle that, and the edge retention shouldn't. It probably won't be that great, because it's it'll be so. Uh, why, why would you want it like that? Well, I mean, I'm hoping it's I'm hoping it's the S ninety V makes up for it. Oh. Get past all the bad still that the Spider Co should have got uh, got okay. past. You know, gotcha. or the burnt edge. Yeah, whatever it may be. Whatever the hell they they, they know what's going on with with those blades when they're leaving. I, I I would have a tough time believing they don't, you know, um, that they don't have any kind of customer feedback. And, and you know, just put that. <laughs> one of the number one knife sharpening kits is a spider co. Well, if it sharpens only to that. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, seriously, man. <laughs> I don't want that sharpening system. Uh, anyway, uh, the video's long enough. I'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, this this is not, like, again, you know, we're not experts in the field. We're just consumers, and we're we're taking note on what we're buying. Uh, and we're passing our opinions on to you. Uh, once again, you know, uh, try to keep in mind if you've been with us for a, a while that we never wanted to be knife reviewers. Uh, so like, so it wasn't, uh, you know, like uh, this is the kind of stuff that we, uh, we we find value in. You know, it's uh, giving you measurements on knives and letting you see the shit laying on the table is really not our our forte. But uh, we do that to try to grow the channel so we can keep on giving away knives. You know, that's that's that's. Uh, this this is the kind of stuff that we get passionate about around here. You know, like it's uh, it, it's kind of dramatic, you know. But at the same time, man, and I think it's worth mentioning. You know, like it's not it's not unnecessary drama. Like, and I, I I have a hunch there's there's definitely other people out there that have noticed the same thing. Oh, absolutely. I mean, well, I mean, you know, like you talk to the Spider Co fans and like I love Spider Co. It's my number one company. Like, uh, why did my edge perform so poorly? Oh, the factory edges always suck. And, and, and it's just, yeah, just, it's just a norm. That's that's an acceptance to you, you know. Yeah. Like, I mean, 
Um, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be paying that price when there's there's much cheaper knives out there with much better blade edge retention. I'm honestly understanding why there's so many people that just buy Coke steels. Because it, you know, I mean, like, you I mean, can buy a ten to one. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> thirty eight bucks. Yeah, I mean, at least seven of those before before you get to the price of this that don't last a week. And I'm not trying to sell coat steels. No, it's like I don't get anything. Oh yeah, like I mean, it's no different than that one. No, no, like, but I mean, yeah, but I mean, like, why? I don't. I, that, that's that's something I'm 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 having a hard time understanding is why there's so much hate on Buck when their edges are so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they they don't. If 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 this the answer. Is the tangle, man. Yeah, I don't think it's ever been sharp. Uh -uh. It's been used a lot, but yeah. This was my first knife, and I this is the only one I carried for a while, and I probably had it for VG10 or no, no, no <laughs> N690. Yeah, something like that. I think N690 and VG10 is pretty close. Okay, that's oh, Japanese Kudo. That's right. It's 440. It's a it's a 440 variant. Um, but I, I, man, this is I carried it forever. And but it was not a real expensive knife. It is now. You can't find them. Right. So like, but when yeah. we got it, it wasn't. We ain't trying to sell them, though. When it so left like, the factory, it was a, what, $50 knife? Yeah, something like that. So, y'all, we got our opinions. We know a lot of you aren't going to agree with them. That's okay. You know, like, well, you know, like not, not everybody has. We're just, we're just kind of pointing out our observations and, uh, and looking for any kind of feedback that we can possibly get. And I personally... This, this spider cow of yours was the first one I went and purchased, like big purchase, and was excited to be able to get it for you. And then it lasts a week, and it's like that just that just freaking sucks. Well, don't don't you know? <laughs> listen, you know, like I, I could have it sharp again. Oh, I know. I just want it to be. I, right, I, I want it yeah. to be sharpened correctly, and I want it to be sharpened by somebody that's got experience sharpening spider cow. That wasn't so. anything about you not sharpening. It's just the fact that. But like, yeah, well, I've I put mean, a lot of a lot of thought and time trying to figure out which one to to get, and like that's the one I went with, and that's how disappointing it was. Right. Well, it's uh, look, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. You know, don't feel bad about buying it. You know, like I'm, 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 we're gonna get this thing. You know, to to good. Like just like I'm gonna get the uh, this this piece of shit right here to good. You know, it's like I, I don't, I, you know, unless we just spend so much money you know trying to get people to sharpen it that they that that don't fail, fail right, it. that it's it's gonna get back to good <laughs> and my, my my thinking overall is that if i ever get these edges uh, done correctly first it give me something to work with and learn by too all right she done got up and walked off you're fine i'm gonna go ahead and end it you guys have a great rest of your day and uh thanks for watching